So let's take a look at the syllabus. It's in Spanish, I'm sorry. But when I wrote this, it was in Spanish. The name of the course is Aprendizaje Estadístico con el Entorno de Datos, Análisis de Datos R. That's uh, Statistical Learning with the R Environment. This is my, my name. And you have a CV here and my web page if you want to, if you are curious about it. The language is going to be English. It's going to be 20, 21 hours in seven sessions of three hours each. Hello, how are you? And these are the goals for this course. So, when you finish, you're supposed to be able to work with R and uh, you are going to be able to use R Studio. That is something that we will cover at the end of today's uh, of uh, at the end of today's session. R Studio is something that makes our lives easier, I think. Um, that's about R, which is the language, the programming language that we're, that we're going to use. And then you are supposed to know something about statistical learning. What? Well, you're going to understand what is supervised learning. We're going to see two main group of techniques, supervised learning and unsupervised learning. You're going to know what supervised learning is, and you're going to understand perfectly, I hope, uh, the main problem with supervised learning, which is overfitting. You will probably you don't know what overfitting is right now, but in a few days you're going to be hearing all day overfitting, 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 and you're going to be very worried about what overfitting is. Then we're going to cover um, unsupervised learning, which is a different kind of statistical learning. And we will see some techniques of both, uh, of both supervised and unsupervised learning. And then, for me, the most important part is that when you, when you finish the course, you're going to be able to go on studying more statistical learning on your own. That's the main goal for me, because, as I said before, that's just an introduction to statistical learning, and you need to go on and go on studying, because this is just this, an introduction. Okay. So today, in today's session, this is the first one, we're going to cover R, we're going to present, to introduce R, and at the end of the session, if we have time, we're going to introduce R Studio. That's the, the, the program for today. So the first two points. Next classes, we are going to cover first supervised learning, which is going to need <coughs> probably four sessions, and unsupervised learning, which is going to take us about two sessions. My idea is this, one session for R and R Studio, four sessions for supervised and two sessions for unsupervised learning, more or less. Okay? Well, methodology, class methodology. Okay, well, you know, this is a statistics class. We are going to work with data, with data. I don't, don't know how to tell that. How do you say data or data? We're going to work with data. Um, and we need some theory and we need some practice. So how are how are classes going to be? Well, it's a mixture of th theory and practice. Okay, um, I don't know what I'm going to do right now, but the idea is to mix theory and practice. We're going to work. We need to touch data to understand how to work with with it. Okay, so it will be a mixture of theory and practice, and I will recommend you to read some documents that I will tell you. Okay two documents that explain very well these concepts of supervised and unsupervised learning. Well, then I have a problem with grading, because here we have some students that come from the PhD program and some students that are uh, University of Deusto workers. I don't know if I need to evaluate everyone, or to grade everyone this, the same way. I don't think so. I think that PhD students need a numeric Great. And uh, workers in, at the University of Deusto need an apto no apto. So I don't know how to do this. But the idea is that when we finish the course, you will have an exam. Ooh, a very difficult exam. But it's going to be a take home exam, open books exam. And you're going to have one month, one month to solve this exam and to send it to me. 
Okay, this is the idea. I don't know what's going to happen with University of Deusto workers, people working here, I don't know. But PhD students at least need to see this exam, but you're going to have one month to do, one month to do it, and, and during this month you're going to have the possibility to talk with me, <coughs> or email me, or whatever, and ask your questions and problems, okay? Perfect. These are the resources that we are going to use. The first for me, um, this is the Bible of statistical learning. This book by Hasti Tip Shirani and Friedman, 200, uh, 200, uh, 2009, The Elements of Statistical Learning, is for me it's the Bible of statistical learning, and it's available, legally available, online. You can download it legally because the authors have, yeah, think that it has to be legally available here in this web this web. Then there is, um, you see here some of the authors are the same, James Witten, Hasti and Tip Shirani wrote last year um, something like an introduction to this first book. The second one is easier. So if you are interested in statistical learning, I will start reading this book. And if you don't understand something from here, or you want to get a deeper understanding, then I will check the first one. Okay? This is simpler and it's more deep. Then, in order to learn about R, I have read a lot of books about R. R is the software that we're going to use. For me, the, the, the best resource is probably this one, Icebreaker by Robinson. Uh, these are some introductory notes to R, and you have a PDF version which is download, which you can download from here. And I think it's a very good introduction to to R. Okay, and then we have some other resources here. For instance, uh, this is the link to get R Studio, and this is the link to get uh, R. The group code. Yeah. The group code. The group code, <laughs> sorry, I forgot it. I'm like Dolly the fish, you know, to, to, to second memory, more or less. Uh, GWTRD8, GWTRD8. This is the code. Okay, questions? No questions. Perfect. Well, the second thing that I want you to do is to download, to download the material that we're going to use today. You have it here in the second post. It's its name is Introduction to Statistical Ner Learning with the R Environment dot, uh, dot, uh, rar. So this is a WinRAR file. You can download it and extract it wherever you want. For instance, here. Descargas. Okay, that's what we have in this 
folder. Um, this is a presentation that we're going to use, the presentation that I'm going to use today, intro to R version number two, because there was an introduction to R number one, but I changed it, so this is number two. Uh, here you have the code that I used to write it. It's in, I wrote it with leaks. It's a word processor. And then here there is a folder which is called project. And we have here some, some folders, datos and scripts and so on and so on that we are going to use later, okay? So, everyone has this folder downloaded and installed and open, extracted, okay. The third thing that I need you to do, or fourth or fifth thing, yeah, I don't know which is the number, is to install R. We are going to install R for the first time. So, what do we need to do to install R? Okay, we go to some browser, for instance Chrome, and we write here, R project. And the first link we get is the one we need, the R project for statistical computing. This is the, the link that we need. I'm going to suppose that everyone here has a window or you have a Mac, then you need different instructions. But I'm sure that if you have a Linux system, you're going to be able to install R without problems. And I'm sure that if you have a Mac, you're going to be able to install R without problems. So I'm going to assume that everyone here has a Windows system. We click here, this link, <coughs> and we go to this page, <coughs> which needs, uh, I think this page needs uh, <laughs> a revamping. <laughs> Can we say that? We need to change a little bit this page because it looks quite old. But, well, I don't want to translate it. And then here, we want to download R. So we, we click here when we, read, when we read download packages, C-R-A-N, CRAN. And we can, we can use the mirror, we can choose the mirror we want. For instance, I like the Austrian mirror because I, I, I don't know why, but I like this one. Please choose another one, no problem. It's the same. And then you get something like this, okay? So here, if you have Windows, obviously you need to download R for Windows. If you have a Linux, Linux or Mac, you need to choose. But we are going to choose download R for Windows. And as we can read here, this is what we need if you want to install R for the first time. We need the base. We are going to install the base of R. We will talk later about what that means, okay? But we need to install the base. So we click here, base, and then download R311 for Windows. And depending on the internet in this room, we're going to need some time because it's 54.1 megabytes. Is it working? Yes. <coughs> it is the door. Okay. <coughs> is it working? Oh, okay. Yeah, I you have it installed? Yeah. I have another version. Oh, no problem. No problem. No problem. If you have another ver version installed, for instance, I had a 215, I don't know which number, uh, it's going to be okay. No problem. Because the difference is between <coughs> versions are big, but for us, they are not going to be important. Is it working okay? No, my, my Wi-Fi is not working, but I have the uh, install. If someone has a problem with Wi-Fi, I have here the file, so you can use it. Mm 
problems here? No problems? Is this okay? You have Linux? Yep. And you have it installed? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Okay. Yes, I Perfect. What? <laughs> oh, I forgot a third disclaimer because my background is uh, statistics and mathematics. I'm not a computer scientist. So um, I'm going to talk about a programming language and I can make lo lots of mistakes. So please forgive me and please correct me, okay? I will be more than happy to hear corrections. No, what you said is not true. You should have said this. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Everyone has it downloaded and installed? No, downloaded at least. Once you have downloaded it, you're going to have something like this here. Then I always click Mostrar en Carpeta and double click here. And then we're going to install our Let's wait for a few seconds. Not yet? You need more time? Everyone has it downloaded? Yes? Okay, then we click on the link and then and then what? Where is it? Ah, here. Yes? language is going to be English, of course. So, English. And then we need to accept everything. Next, 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 next. And now we're going to have it installed for the first time, okay? When the installation process, finish, uh, uh, process finishes, we're going to get a big blue R on our desktop if we are using Windows. So now we click finish and we get these two big blue R's in our on our desktop. The first one is uh, the 32-bit version, this is the 62-bit version. So I think that we can use this one because our computers are quite new. So we could use we, we could use the second one. RX64311. Okay? First step, first goal. We got it. Okay? We got it installed. 